Well, Bluffton Beaver linebacker Ryan Elker might get a shot at the NFL. A Holgate grad is among those invited to this weekend's Cleveland Brown rookie camp. Well, Austin Scott is no rookie, but he does like the camp, and he takes us for a stroll in this week's top five plays. Plenty of chase at number five this week as Bath hosts St. Mary's. Chase Roop lifts the fly ball into center field and Chase Clark gives chase to make the over the shoulder grab. Putnam County rivals take the four spot with Ottawa Glandorf taking on Lipsick. Ross Schrader grounds one down the third baseline. Guess who's there, it's Chase Schreiber. He makes the stop and tags third with the ball for the out. Sectional baseball action at number three with Maumee leading Wapakoneta 1-0. Austin Calapietro drops his base hit into shallow center. Frank Loranga tries to round third and score, but Nate Schreyer is there to apply the tag. That was a very important out as the Redskins win 2-1. On to the softball diamond for this week's runner-up. Liberty Benton's Sydney Lease runs down a Bath Wildkit and trying to advance to third, but she's not done. She runs the second and tags the runner there for the double play. Colin Lowe and the Waynesfield Goshen Tigers take the top spot on this week's countdown against Temple Christian. Shallow fly ball into right center. Lowe races in for the diving grab and the out as the Tigers win big 12 to four. So what did we learn this week? If your name is Chase, you have a great shot at making the countdown. Check back next time to see which plays we chase down for the top five plays of the week.